and seventy uh, percent of uh, Filipino culture. Because yeah, um, uh, Ibrahim mentioned a while ago that I raised in the Philippines for yes, of course, for entire of my life. Yeah, me. I mentioned before in my video, but now I felt like it's already 40% of being Filipino. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think I'm lying Good. that first. <laughs> now 40% I really feel. And only 60% of being Arab. Mm -hmm. Maybe soon it will be 50-50, inshallah. So, uh, I am Ibrahim Casey, and my father is from Palestine, from Gaza. Uh, and my mother is Filipina. And his, your father? Yes, my father is from Qatar. tawag na kibda yung liver anong liver yan uh, beef or ano siya uh, liver ng baka or? liver ng baka oh liver ng baka so ayun ito na si Amir Walid yung naging partner ko sa usapan hap araba hap pilipino at andito ako sa lugar niya ngayon gagawa kami ng English version ng usapan hap araba hap pilipino kasi maraming Pilip marami kaming mga Arab na kaibigan na hindi naintindihan mga foreigner na kaibigan so sabi namin ulitin namin gawin namin English inshallah Assalamu alaikum kif halkom shu akbarkom ana isme Ibrahim al Kesi wa hadi ana Walid ana Walid wa Amir Walid uh, Amir Walid wa aidi aidi ma fi mushkila yani Amir Walid wa Walid ma fi mushkila aidi kul wahad bas okay ana ana nus filistini wa filipini um uh, filipiniya wa abuya uh, uh, filistini min Gaza وهذا الفيديو نتكلم في اللغة الإنجليزية أحسن عشان عندنا مشكلة في العربي يعني كنت ساكن كل حياتنا في الفلبين ونسينا العربي هناك وكذا إن شاء الله سوينا فيديو الأول بس في اللغة التغالوغ والآن نسويها في الإنجليش أحسن عشان بيصير انترناشونال وبرضو أمير وليد لا يتكلم كاملا عربي ليس يعني ضعيف وعربي so we did this video because the first time we do about this topic, uh, the, our experience of being half Filipino and half uh, Arab, what is the experience that we can share to someone out there who is half like us. Even not a half Arab, but half Filipino or half of something, <laughs> half human. By the way, so it's been, someone requested, uh, we have many Filip uh, foreigner friends who told us to make a video about this but in English so we ca they can understand it. Because we only did it in Tagalog and it reached almost more than 200,000 views and almost got 1,700 comments. It's really hard to read all those comments. So we are going to share to you uh, our experience and from where are we, how we became uh, half uh, Arab and Filipino. So my, first of all, my name is uh, Ibrahim Casey and my father is Palestinian and my mother is Filipina. And you? Uh, my father is from Qatar and uh, my mother is from Philippines but I have an Indian blood to my grand uh, great uh, mother and um, when it comes to speaking in English I have a you know I'm not an expert when it comes to communication skills when it comes to English languages but I'll try my best to you know to give you a good communication right now okay so how I become half how we become half first uh, my father came to Philippines when he was 18 years old to study doctor and he met my mother in the same school in the same university in the Gupan Pangasinan in Lyceum so they got a love a beautiful love story and that is uh, my beginning of where I start from so I was born in Pangasinan San Carlos and after my LA, I studied I think when I was already two years old we went to Palestine uh, stayed there for more than one one year and my mother may, maybe she didn't like adjust for the Arab culture or something so after that we came back to Philippines again I also study uh, kindergarten in the uh, the Gupan in the Amado Street in the Barangay Hall so after that when I have one brother and sister came back to Palestine and I studied there elementary for we stayed there for six years and then we come back again to Philippines 2002 and that is where I stay for 16 years until I got for I, I went to two years college only I finished IT and that is my story until I came here to Saudi Arabia Wow um, actually my my parents met in Qatar okay uh, in the uh, Qatar uh, country my father's work is a engineer and my mother is a maid housemaid yes guys my mother is a housemaid of uh, the family of my father so they met there actually in the house then they make um, you know uh, 
they make love for example and then uh, they went to um, married a couple then um, three years maybe my mother's decided to go to Philippines and then uh, um, I was born there and then uh, my mother and my father separated uh, already that time then uh, my mother raised us we have uh, I have three sister uh, two sisters I mean I have two sisters um, half sisters okay half sisters in my mother's side and then uh, my mother raised us in her way okay she worked hard for our needs for our educational uh, purposes for our foods shelter and everything um, I um, I uh, graduated in elementary school in uh, Manila, Culiat Elementary School in Quezon City. And of course, um, I finished also high school in uh, Culiat High School in Quezon City also. And I finished Bachelor of Science in Nursing in 2010 in Dr. Carlos S. Lentin College. Then I took my uh, uh, licensure examinations here in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, uh, year 2018 last year. And yeah, I'm currently working as a private youth nurse here in Riyadh. So let's start with our story, like from where we are in Philippines. Yeah. And how we grow up with our father or with our mother. Where are they? In, where are them now? So let's start for, or let's start from me, so you can have idea. So actually, uh, uh, actually, Ibrahim, this is a short, um, short conversation only, or the summary of our yeah. conversations. But we will assure you that we will give you a uh, highlights. Uh, yeah, a good content, of course, when it comes to our uh, background. So you know what exactly <laughs> what we have. And we wish you learn something of yeah. uh, when you once you marry another culture or another. What what your kids will be, what they will feel about it. Okay. Sorry for our English. Maybe <laughs> some of you are you know teachers or yeah coach or a professional teachers when it comes to English our English is broken my English is broken I don't know with Casey but I need to learn more about English languages because my English is more on Filipino like Tagalog and um, a little bit uh, Arab that's right <laughs> yes yeah because we are mixed with three languages so yeah. maybe some of our accents uh, and it's not good or we put Yani in our <laughs> English <laughs> the way we speak when you say Yani <laughs> it's like like I mean like yeah, or I mean I, there's I mean, a lot yeah. of meanings of Yanni Yanni's so maybe yeah. in this conversation you will heard a lot of Yanni because we don't know exactly this is our you know yeah. uh, like you know expressions maybe yeah. we, because we live here in Riyadh Saudi Arabia and this is uh, a Arab country then we adopt already so yeah when my father went to Philippines my mother she is originally from uh, Sambuanga from Mindanao but uh, from the, let's start from the story of her mother. My grandmother, she grew up in Manila when she was this in the teenage, and then she became a Christian. But because the truth, she was a Muslim when she was a kid, but she she became a Catholic because she grew she grew up alone in uh, Manila. So she married there. Actually, she married a Swiss guy, and so I'm too much half. It will be in another content next time to explain my bloodline too. <laughs> so. And then, so my mother here, she is half Spanish and half uh, Filipina because uh, from the uh, my grandmother. And then they live in Pangasinan. They buy a beach resort. So that's the story. What? Uh, how come my mother went to Pangasinan? I, I remember where I study to tell them that I study in U University of Luzon. Uh, two years IT only. I didn't finish because you there took was IT, right? yeah. There was some family problem that time. IT means uh, uh, information technology. Information technology, yeah. yes. So there's a two years and four years, right? Yeah, four. I took four years, but I didn't finish it. So okay. only two years, and I didn't graduate any. So I have. Uh, we are all five from my father. Uh, I'm the eldest. I need two boys and two girls. Mm -hmm. uh, in my mother's side, actually, you know, my father's side is from Qatar, and there is a blood of Indian, Indian blood in my great grandmother. In my mother is half Chinese and Malaysian, but a little bit. Yani, there is no uh, large amount of blood uh, of Chinese Malaysian, Malaysian Chinese. Um, pure Magindanon. When you say Magindanon, is one of the tribe in the Philippines, which is. Um, Muslim or Maro community here in the Philippines as you all know that um, I think 30% or 40% of uh, populations in the Philippines is um, Muslims if I'm not mistaken correct me if I'm wrong comment down below if my uh, estimated is correct 35 to 40% of populations in the Philippines is Muslim so my mother originate in a Muslim community 
She is maginda noon. She is undergraduate. She only finished uh, college, um, grade 6. Okay, she only finished grade 6 uh, in uh, Cotabato. Uh, it's a province in the Philippines, Cotabato. It's part of the Mindanao. And um, I have two half sisters actually located here in Riyadh. They are also a nurse. Uh, one is working in Al Habib and working in uh, Al Isa bin Laden in Jeddah. Also a nurse. Okay, so yeah. we ha uh, now we are going to start like where's our father? What happened to our Arabic? So, what is our life became in Philippines? How our classmates reacted to us as uh, we don't look Filipino? Because the problem with us, like we are half Filipino, but uh, God did not give us the face of being a pure Filipino. Maybe pure Filipino heart, but not in the face. So it is like uh, always a trouble when we are in Philippines, living our life there. So now we will check our like uh, our comment about that. So what we can share, how how our our feelings of being half. So in my. In, in my life in Philippines, we when we came there 2002 from Gaza, we lived there for six years. So we came to Philippines 2002. We lived for three years in Cavite, Sidang Putingkahoy, Sidang Cavite. So I studied also first year high school in University uh, Adventist University of the Philippines. I studied there the high school. So in my high school, like always bullied in the school. I'm being always bullied because I'm have a, having a different face. Doesn't look like Filipino. And sometimes I always uh, got some question like you Arabs are, are having bad smell or you Arabs are like this or uh, cutting a head in your country. So this is our experience when we grow up. So especially when I was in high school, second year, third year, until fourth year. Uh, I was always bullied in the school because I am the only one who is high school having a different kind of face. Doesn't look like Filipino. And all attention are always in our, in my life. like. Uh, especially I don't know why those fourth year are always uh, outside in the gate waiting for me wanted to punch me I don't know what's my fault I'm not doing anything in the school bad so we experience many things like this and discrimination about uh, of Arabs of us being half so that is the story how we lost our Arabic also because we stayed there for a long time because I, I'm born in Philippines, but I grew up in six years in Palestine, then stay in my in, stayed in Philippines for 16 years. So in 16 years, I was fluent in Arabic before I came to Philippines. When I came to Gaza, I don't know any single words of Arabic. So uh, I only know little English because of my aunt. They speak to me with English because they don't know how to communicate with me except in English, not Arabic. And I learned Tagalog little because my mother still continue uh, speaking with me in Tagalog when I was a kid. So I know some basic Tagalog at that time. So after that I learned Arabic for six, for six years. I was already fluent. When we came to Philippines, staying there for 16 years in a community without Arab or Muslim in Cavite. So I lost all, even Fatiha like this, I, I lost all the what I know about Arabic and Islam also. Actually, um if Casey is raised in a Palestine, I think what 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 age you have? Uh, I was ten years old that time, maybe ten, seven to seven to ten years old. Uh, I'm not sure, yeah, maybe. Because I was born in the Philippines, the the ra the culture and uh, the you know the sensitivity I adopted already in the Philippines because um, I was raised there, and then uh, ninety percent of my friends uh, is from Catholic and uh, Iglesia Ni Cristo and 10% uh, training is Muslim uh, friends so I, I adopt the the open uh, city in Manila um, I grew up in a, a open uh, uh, family okay we embrace culture we embrace uh, other religions because my mother is a friendly woman okay she is also a you know, uh, she's also a businesswoman during that time. When it comes to discrimination, there's a lot of discriminations that I've encountered when I was a kid. When I was in elementary, when I was in high school, they, they said that, oh, you're so black, your, your nose is like this, your, your color, your tone, um, your teeth, your lips, your hair. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, um, you know, a, a bully uh, or, bashing in uh, my uh, in my um, younger age you know so when I was in college also there's also discrimination when I applied or when I go to an airlines um, company I will not mention the airlines company here but when I you know I when I start to um, 
applied for the physicians and an FA or flight attendant, they said that, are you a Muslim? Then I said, yes, I'm a Muslim. Then said, okay, so perform. So we perform, we, uh, we got evaluations, we uh, got interview, then uh, I failed. Why? I don't know why. Because I think there's a lot of people there, there's a lot of um, examinees there and uh, you know, um, people there who wants to work in that airlines. Then suddenly, I'm the one who, you know, who asks, what is your religion? And I, you know, I am amazed or I'm wondering why she asked that kind of question. So um, I put in my mind that I think um, that's the reason why I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not hired already. Uh, so that's, that's the, I think that's the only story that I can, you know, I can share with you guys. Yes, of course, 100% there's a discrimination with this face. But praise God, there's a lot of people also there's a lot of people also appreciated. Yeah, having good heart. Yeah. There's more Filipino yes, or having understanding. A good heart yeah. And stand happy, for us. Happy for us. So happy for us. To see us half, but we are. Us. But we are uh, to see us half, but yes. we are proud of being Filipino. Yes, also that. Yeah, yeah because we grow we grow up there more than uh, growing up here in the Arab country. And the difference between me and Amir, I grow up, I experienced Arab culture, Arab life in Palestine for six years. Unlike uh, Amir Walid, he was yes. raised and born in the yes. Philippines his whole life. That's the only difference. But now, let's experiment and see if do we still have the Arab attitude even though we are born and raised in another country. This is maybe the interesting story that we can share to you. So what is our opinion and what do we feel to ourselves because when we know we are half Arab? Because I think in the previous blog, uh, you told that uh, you have your 70% of blood yeah. in your... Um, uh, being Arab? Being Arab when it comes to... 30% um, of being Filipino. Yeah, when it comes to your your actions, your, yeah. your, your, your hobby, 70% and 30% is the Filipino uh, culture. In my case, 30% of Arab and 70% uh, of uh, Filipino culture because, yeah, um, uh, Ibrahim mentioned a while ago that I raised in the Philippines for, yes, of course, for entire of my life. Yeah. So now let's experiment for me. I mentioned before in my video, but now I felt like it's already 40% of being Filipino. Mm -hmm. Because I think I'm lying Good. that first. <laughs> now 40% I really feel. And only 60% of being Arab. Mm -hmm. Maybe soon it will be 50 50, inshallah. Our first video, the, we are, there are so many comments there. Many parents comment their like, Arab husband and their kids are half. So they said thank you for your video, we learned something. So those who wanted to comment and share something that you want to learn about us. And now uh, in our next video, we are going to read those comments because there are some like uh, discrimin uh, bad comments and we are going to read also the good comments. By the way, there are so many, so only some of them that we can read and we are going to react it with English so everybody can understand again thank you so much for giving your love to us and uh, putting your you know your your side to us thank you so much for the the love that you know that you've shown us support yeah the support that you gave to us already and for those people that we don't uh, we didn't like us okay it's okay it's yeah. okay just yeah, skip it's the, okay skip the video there's yeah. no problem yeah it's okay actually it's okay and uh, yeah Thank you so much for watching for this uh, yeah short conversation in English. We tried our best for you guys, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Take note, we are not racist or something, or telling you, showing Again, you that yes. we are half Arab and you are not. You are, yeah. we are half Filip. No. We are just sharing what is our experience, how to handle of being half. So Filipino out there, don't get jealous. Be proud of who you are. Our Filipino, we are brown. Be proud of brown. So that is who we are. Maging ma uh, ano? Uh, Maging proud tayo proud sa ating tayo kulay. Filipino. Yes. Oh, yeah. And uh, hindi namin sinasabi na for example Arab kami half kayo yes, hindi Yes, no, no, no Actually, we are very, very proud that we have an Filipino blood Pina -pr Proud ako dun, proud ako dun guys And uh, mananatili yun sa akin hanggang sa huli Yeah Abangan nyo yung mga ibang videos ko na gagawin ko about kung ka paano, paano mas malapit ako sa Pilipino kumpara sa Arab So maraming salamat sa inyo at abangan yung mga ibang videos namin about pa sa mga topic na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you so much guys. Peace. Uh, Shuref. Okay, Shuref. Wow, nakakaaliw naman. Meron tayong mga kababayan na half Arab. God bless po mga kabayan. Teka, yung nakasumbero parang kamukha niya yung nakita kong may scandal na nagsas... Mm -hmm.